Amanis Life Sciences was happy to welcome Dr. Frank Bakeman to their offices on June 7th. He is the founder of MI Labs and heads the Radiation Detection and Medical Imaging Department at TU Delft University in the Netherlands. Dr. Bakeman was visiting Rochester, Minnesota from his home in the Netherlands to give a seminar at Mayo Clinic. Bakeman has co-authored 140 papers and is the inventor on 31 patents. He has pioneered SPEC technology. Amanis uses his U-SPEC technology to achieve higher resolution imaging of our high quality reagents. While visiting at Amanis, he sat down to have a conversation about the growth of MI Labs, developing U-SPEC and G-SPEC technology, and what motivates him to work so tirelessly to improve imaging technology. We started by discussing the immense growth of MI Labs since its founding 11 years ago. He describes the thrilling and challenging elements of going from being a small company to distributing globally, with over 100 installations at institutions such as Mayo Clinic, Yale, the Dutch Cancer Center, and Oxford. And, and there are always big steps you, you, you make, like uh, install the first system in, um, uh, at a client site, and then install the first system in North America mm. uh, under a lot of uh, resistance that you get from competitors that mm. don't want you uh, to get in that territory, and uh, that's really a challenge. Uh, but also, uh, uh, yeah, very satisfying that people choose something you have built, and, and you are still a small company, and they, mm -hmm. despite that, they, they they want your product anyway because they believe that they can do unique things with it. So it, that is very exciting, but also uh, sometimes sleepless nights because if. You don't want that anything goes wrong at the client side. So uh, it's a big responsibility to deliver a machine that is uh, that is going to be used for for medical research. You don't want that you have to go there again because something is not working. You have to take care when you grow from a local company to a company that operates worldwide because we are everywhere in the world that that you are sure that you can service the system and you are sure that this is the next happy client because that will help you to make the next step. Dr. Bakeman and his team designed the first use spec system with ultra high resolution for imaging small animals. SPECT stands for Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography. It is a biomedical engineering device that detects specific tracers in the body that are administered to patients, usually by injection, prior to performing the scan. The tracers are labeled using a gamma-emitting isotope. With dedicated cameras, one can observe them in the body. Dr. Bakeman describes what makes his SPECT machine different from its predecessors. Yeah, so, so we started out indeed with the uh, with U-SPECT. Uh, we had a research model uh, that won several awards, uh, like the Image of the Year from the Society of Nuclear Medicine. Uh, so, so, yeah, that were of course indicators that we had something uh, special and we knew also what was distinguishing our system from other systems and that was a much better resolution, um, also a higher sensitivity um, and um, also a much higher imaging speed so the system was suitable to do dynamic imaging so you could make movies of tracers that, that, that uh, are in the body so you can see where they go to an organ or a tumor and um, uh, that was important. On top of that, uh, our system didn't have moving detectors which make them very reliable. And that is, that is as important as that we had a higher performance. Mm -hmm. so, so that makes, made the use back a big success also in the market. Dr. Bakeman comments on why high imaging resolution in small animals is important for the development of new therapeutic research. Yeah, so um, you can compare it with, uh, with reading a book. Uh, if you 
have no sharp vision and you have to read the book without the glasses and you cannot distinguish the letters, you won't learn much about what is in the book. And the book of the biology can be your mouse, uh, where you want to see in which structure really a tracer ends up and the better resolution, the better you can do that. Availability of high-resolution imaging technology is extremely important for companies such as Amanis, which provide imaging reagents. Dr. Bakeman describes his connection with the Amanis team. Yeah, the, the Imanis people, who also work at the Mayo Clinic, um, got, uh, the, were the, the first uh, uh, people at the Mayo Clinic who published. And I was really amazed how quickly that went. We, we had the system installed and, and then immediately we saw publications in very high-ranked journals. And they were also explaining why resolution for them uh, was important. And you could also see uh, uh, what the effect was of having a high resolution, that they could suddenly see that uh, what they couldn't see before. That's of course nice if you have a happy client and you can talk about the science. Uh, I, I'm a scientist myself, so I, I really like that. And, um, and, uh, and we regularly talk about what, what is needed for the future uh, and so on. So uh, it's special, a special relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, we enjoy to, to see each other very much. Transitioning to the scale of human research, Dr. Bakeman developed the G-SPEC system, which enables high-resolution, large animal and human imaging. It is not yet available for clinical use, but is certainly proposing some exciting developments in the clinical diagnostic imaging world. Yeah, so the, the G-SPEC is uh, very much inspired by the, by the pre-clinical SPEC uh, product, the U-SPEC. Um, uh, so all the advantages of having a high resolution, high sensitivity, high speed are, are also in the G-SPEC. So many principles are very, very similar. Um, the, the problem there was that it takes a, a huge investment to make that step. So we, we could do that, uh, and uh, and so, but we have also uh, to go a long way to get uh, that approved. And uh, so, so the system is not uh, yet in the market, uh, but we found investors that support uh, the the clinical approval of this uh, system. A large part of MI Lab's success is their connection with their customers. I asked Dr. Bakeman how he stays in touch with his consumers and how this shapes his company. Yeah, you really have to, to be with the customers, talk with the customers, and uh, if they are, take every complaint uh, serious and, uh, and prioritize uh, 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 what, what their feedback is. They're not so much complaints but more ideas we would like to do that if you could facilitate that uh, that and that th that would be great and and then you have to think well, how can we do that and mm -hmm. all how many users would, would benefit from that and what would it mean and then you do it and it's it's fun and it's nice and, uh, and again the machine is better Finally, he spoke about what motivates him personally to make advancements in imaging technology. I like the engineering and I like to invent, uh, to, to think about a problem and find a solution. I have a team that likes that too. It's, um, and, and they are very good engineers and, so, and programmers. And uh, yeah, it's, I cannot sit still, still if there is a problem. <laughs> Uh, there's always a problem in science. We want to see the unseen. And there's always something that is unseen and that we may be able to make visible. 
and, and I think that is my drive. If you want to learn more about MI Labs and their work, a link to their website will be in the description of this video. Visit amanislife.com to explore our oncolytic virus repository and variety of expert services. At Amanis, our reagents are made in-house, so the expert scientists who make the products are the ones available to answer your questions and provide guidance. For any questions, please contact the email address on the screen, which will also be linked below. Thank you to Dr. Bakeman for his time and thank you very much for watching.